kehidupan lampau Sang Buddha sebagai raja bernama Sinar Bulan. Bagian ke-1 dari enam seri di acara antara guru dan murid yang disampaikan dalam bahasa Inggris 8 September 2015 di Prancis. Halo. Ya mama is here. Iya. Hmm. Ya. Halo. 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 Oke, okay. very good. Welcome all of you. Chinese, Taiwanese, or whatever niche you are. Denise. Hmm? <laughs> Hey, you are here? Ah, welcome. I have to check out my spiritual weapons. Huh? Yeah, perfect. <laughs> miracle. You didn't know I know miracle, did you? Uh, okay, okay, okay. Today I saw some good news on TV, huh? News. That uh, there, there is a, a con there is a place named Charon, or Charan, Charon, Charon in Mexico. The village people they protect, they protect their forest. Uh, before there was some people who went there and and you know, deforested to to sell the sell the logs or something, and they protect them. They try to protect them. I think we should donate something to them if you can find it, huh? And give them some donation. Give them like uh, twenty thousand U.S. dollar, twenty thousand U.S. dollar if they can find the 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 village called Charon, C H E R A N, Charon, in Mexico, yeah. Got it? Um, the they're protecting their forests by themselves, you know, before some people with armed guard and all that. They even lost their lives protecting it. And now they're even planting new trees, new trees to replace the, the one that they, uh, they cut down, to give them a, a leadership award, eh? environmental protection lead, leadership award. Okay, huh? If you can, huh? Thank you. If they can find out. All right, now I'm done with all this job. Now I take care of you, huh? <laughs> uh, some uh, men can also sit in front of there, or some women can sit in front of there until I'm going out. Yeah, okay. Yeah, one sit, one sit there, one sit there. Okay, okay. Yeah, just block the road, no matter. Yeah, until I go out. Okay. Okay then. Now we're cozy, huh? <laughs> Everybody okay then? Yes. Yeah, yeah, woman can sit on the road there, I don't mind, okay? I can walk on your shoulders. <laughs> yeah, big shoulders. Yeah. Whew. Okay, at least our world is okay, yeah? Even the world around us is not all okay. Mm. I, uh, I found one story I haven't told you. You want to hear it? Yes! yes. Yes, <laughs> of course, oh, I found it. It's about Sekamuni Buddha when he, you know, from alive, as usual. Hmm? <laughs> Are you all right? Jet lag? <laughs> if you want to sleep, just fine, I don't care. <laughs> they do it all the time. Because <laughs> this story is about the Buddha, one of his former life that he sacrificed even his own body, body part. Not just hands, foot, or flesh, but his own head. Just so that he will become Buddha. Yeah, so many sacrifices he has to go through to earn enough merit to reclaim his Buddhahood again. As I told you already, he has been Buddha a long, long time ago. But in order to uh, so affinity with new sentient beings, 
or older sentient beings which he has not delivered and some former life has affinity with him. He has to come back again and start from zero. Okay, now, but if you sacrifice something of your body, maybe, I don't know, maybe you also. <laughs> huh? Huh? Possible some Buddhas around here? Huh? Camera. This way. <laughs> Check out if any Buddhas is hanging around here. Do they look any more? Maybe that's one without hair look like. <laughs> okay. That one also no hair, maybe, huh? And this one with a cap with no hair inside. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> because this camera cannot reach them, so sometimes you, you know, turn around to show the Buddha's face. And there's another one here and another one there, no hair. Uh, the one hair, the ones that the hair fall off doesn't count, okay? <laughs> okay. All right then, everybody settle down? Yes. Happy, happy? Yes. Translation okay? Yes. Good. We should really thank the past masters, monks and nuns and scholars who has take time to record what the Buddha is teaching after the masters and nirvana. And also for the past and present persons, lay or monks or nuns who has really dedicated themselves, sacrificed their time and precious health or under any difficult situation to translate this so that I can read it to you. And we have to thank them. And may they be blessed forever by all the Buddhas, past, present and future. May their merit be immense. May they be liberated forever. Thank you. According to Buddhism and the believer and the tradition, when you read sutra and all that, you have to put on incense, flower, you know, and bow to the sutra first and thank all the Buddhas and Bodhisattva in ten directions, all respectfully, before you read it, okay? And then you cover the sutra also with silk or, you know, beautiful cloth and I just make it more popular, yeah, more easy, simple. I apologize to all the Buddha. I say, if I've done something wrong, according to the tradition, my heart is full of respect. It's just that I cannot always do that. So please, all the sin, whatever I've done wrong, is all on me. At least other people, they hear the names of the Buddha, according to the Sutta, they will get benefit. Yes. Thus I have heard, uh, one time the Buddha was in, uh, in a country called Tisali, in another uh, forest called Ala. At that time, uh, the, the world honored one asked me thus, me mean who? And I just you know everything. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> How? How could you guess? <laughs> At least you remember one name, huh? Okay. Uh, so I didn't waste too much of my time. Mm. I thought I was talking to the sleeping ears, <laughs> but I was wrong. All right. Okay. So the um, the word honor one means the Buddha as Anan first. Uh, oh man, this is a sad story, double sad. I'm warning you, whoever uh, attained the four, the four miracles, special miracles, yeah, then they will be able to to live one aeon. But uh, now I already attained this. Uh, for miracle, but even also plus, you know, um, mm, mean plus that I'm still practicing, yeah. Meaning even more, yeah, more merit. So, do you know how long I will live? Hmm? How long is my long my longevity? 
the Buddha asked Anand three times. And he asked himself, <laughs> I said, at that time maybe I was possessed by a demon or something, so I have not answered him. I kept quiet. And then the Buddha said to me, Anand, now you go to a quiet area and think about it. Yeah. So I obeyed the, the Buddha's command and went into a forest the forest. After I left, the, uh, the Maya came, the king of Maya came and said to the Buddha, uh, obeisance to the world honored one. Uh, you have been preaching in this world a long time already. Yeah. Uh, you have also saved um, a lot of sentient beings, as many as the sands of the Ganges River, meaning countless, yes. Now you already became older, old. Uh, it's better you go to Nirvana, meaning leave the world, leave the physical body, yeah. Okay, and then the Buddha took a little bit you know, a pinch of 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 a pinch of soil, a pinch of sand, and put on on his uh, palm, and asked the Maya king. Uh, this little little sand on my hand here is it a lot or a little? Yeah. So the the Maya king say, sir. Uh oh no, he say, um, the the little sand on my hand is a lot, or the the earth around on on the planet is a lot. So the king of Maya say, so the sand on the planet, you know, is a lot. Of course, more than the sand in your hand. And then the Buddha said, the beings that I ferry across, I liberated. As, as little as that little sand on my hand only. And then uh, the, the beings that has not been liberated are as much as uh, the, the earth on this planet, as uh, much as the sand on this planet. Okay, but never mind. Three months later, I will enter Nirvana. Oh. The king of Maya heard the Buddha say that. He was so happy. How can? Joyfully. And then he bowed to him and left. How can that be? He's truly Maya. Hmm? I was sitting in the forest, mean Anan. Yeah. I was sitting in the forest and I was kind of uh, dozing off. Yeah, typical. I saw a lot. <laughs> it's so familiar. <laughs> I was do dozing off, and then I dreamed uh, that a big, big, great giant tree that covered the whole sky, and uh, the leaves is, is very lush, full, green, and a lot, a lot of uh, flowers and fruit on that tree. Uh. The merit of this tree is wondrous. Nobody can even describe it. And suddenly, out of nowhere, there was a big typhoon that came and then beat up that tree, so everything fell off, the leaves, the fruit, the flowers. I was so scared. And I was startled and awakened from the dream. My heart was still pounding. Yeah. Anand, not mine. Yeah. I wasn't there. Uh, so I was thinking to myself, I was dreaming of this giant tree. It seems like such a tree that all the beings under the sun can profit, because it's so giant, so big. And suddenly, has no reason as the, the wind came and beat it up. 
you know, like, how do you say? Tang na gì ha? Tang na tiếng Anh nói gì hiểu không? Hả? Beat up severely, you know, like black and blue if it's a human. Yeah. It is likened to the world honored one, the Buddha, that he saved, you know, the whole world uh, from uh, heaven to earth. Yeah. From mortal to sages, he saved them. Uh, everyone, all beings, are receiving his blessing and grace. As, as, as much, you know, as compared to this tree like that. So, the dream, my dream, probably indicate that the Buddha is going to enter Nirvana soon. So I stood up and went into the ashram. I prostrated in front of the Buddha and, and said to him, Obeisance to the world honored one. Just now I have had a bad dream that a big giant tree that is uh, protecting all beings on this planet that cover the whole sky even suddenly there's a big typhoon came and then uh, break, break broken that trees into nothing yeah i guess is it uh, true maybe that you are going to enter nirvana is that correct sir Please tell me. So the Buddha told him, Yes, it is true like that. Three months later, I will enter Nirvana. As I have told you, that anyone who attain the four kinds of special miracles, miraculous power, then they can uh, leave one aeon. Did I say that before, one aeon? Okay. And then I myself already attained this four wondrous miraculous power and I still need I still even continue to practice more. Yeah. And then I ask you how long would you think I will live? Hmm? I mean mostly people when they uh, get these uh, four miraculous power and then they might stop doing anything, but he still continue. That means is even his merit even greater. Yeah. And his longevity will be more expansive. But I have asked you three times and you never told me, you never answered me. After you left, the king of Maya came and invited me to enter Nirvana and I have promised him already. After I heard the Buddha say thirst, as if thunder have striked me, I was so sorrowful, so regretful. I was so sad, so sad. If now the Buddha is going to enter Nirvana, all beings has lost uh, a place of refuge. Where, where will they go? Whom can they rely on? And after that, everybody else know, and, uh, other monks and nuns in the assembly knew about it. Everybody was so sad, so sad, so sad. And they all gathered around the Buddha and asking, asking. And the, mm, the Buddha said, the whole world in this uh, physical planet uh, is all governed by the ephemeral law. The will of transmigration is always, um, how you say, turning. Yeah. Today you are here, tomorrow you may be gone. No one, uh, it's not uh, predictable, and no one can escape. It's not only human beings, but also uh, animals, and even mountains, rivers, oceans, and even uh, the universe. None will be able to uh, sustain their existence forever. 
because of all beings suffering. So I came here to this planet, and uh, I think my job is done. Uh, whatever I had to say, I already said. So um, all of you should be diligently practicing uh, what I have taught you. Do not uh, be so sad and sorrowful. It's useless. Yeah. And then Sariputra uh, lamented. First, he lamented. Oh dear, you know, oh heaven, earth, and all that. The world's brightest eye is going to uh, be gone. Eyes. The Buddha is likened to the eye of the world. Yeah. The thirst come one is going to uh, enter nirvana. All beings has nowhere to rely on, nowhere to take refuge. After he said thus, he kneeled down in front of the Buddha, and then uh, said to the Buddha, Obeisance to the world honored one. I have no heart to see you going to enter nirvana, meaning to see you die. Yeah. Uh, please allow me to go to nirvana first. Please. Uh, be joyful and accept my request so that I feel uh, satisfied. Yeah. He told the Buddha, he requested three times like that. Yeah. And the Buddha said, All right, yeah. You know, when is the time? When is the time? When the time is up, then uh, even saints and sages will also leave the world. Yeah. After he heard the Buddha almost like you know accepting his request, he kneeled straight on his knees and uh, and and circumambulated the Buddha one hundred times on the knees not on foot here. Yeah. And then he came in front of the Buddha, held his feet and put it on top of his head three times. It's a utmost respectful sign, what he has done. And like the last time ever, yeah. Mm. And then he said to the Buddha, Obeisance to the world honored one. Today is the last day I said farewell to you. And then he put his palm together with a respectful manner. He left. And then he went back to his country, you know, his uh, birth country. And then uh, one of uh, the uh, Sami, one of the young monks, uh, went in to the uh, official, to the royal court and to report to the king. Yeah. And then others, uh, relatives of uh, Sariputra, so everybody came and said goodbye last time. And the king Asate, he is one of the very good follower, you know, of the Buddha. He knew that um, Sariputra reverence is going to enter nirvana, so he said to himself, "The great uh, reverend Sariputra is." Like a great, uh, great general in uh, Buddhism, yeah. And now, oh God, he's going to enter Nirvana. Why? Why? Why so soon? Why so early? Now we have no one to to counter those uh, negative uh, beings. After that, everyone, the king and uh, the court officials and uh, all the others, relatives and citizen people, they all came and they say obeisance to reverence 
Sariputra. We, we have heard that you are going to enter nirvana. We feel as if we are the children who are losing the parents, as if the little chicks are losing uh, the mother chicken. We are not. We we are losing our uh, refuge. We have nowhere to to rely on. No one to rely on from now. And then Sariputra said to them, "Please, all the Buddhist follower, Buddha's follower, do not feel sad. Do not feel sad. Uh, all the beings, anything, anything at all on this planet." belong to two two words, that is ephemeral, one word, ephemeral. In Vietnam it's two words, yeah, ephemeral. I mean uh, unpredictable, you know? Yeah, all right. <laughs> 